Hey guys, so this is my Lush review um, video. I'm going to be talking about a lot of the products that I've been using or bought in the past few months or even before that. Like any of the Lush products I'm loving or not liking so much I want to talk about because I keep buying it and a lot of you guys ask for reviews. So I thought I would tell you my input and how so it's going I have so a lot far. to start with. Okay, so first I'm going to talk about my eye cream from Lush. It's the Enchanted Eye Cream. I've been using this for quite some time now. I used it like about a year ago and used it for maybe for a year and then when it expired I threw it out and then didn't repurchase it for a while. Don't know why. I think so. Oh yeah, because there was a Lush store around me and um, I didn't want to buy it online for some reason. So when I moved to my new place, which I'm at now, there's Lush in the mall really close by to me so I started buying Lush products again. In the middle I started wearing Clinique which I, it is a good product but I didn't like it as much and if you watch my updated routine video I explain more about that but I won't get into that right now. But anyway I've been using this for I don't remember a while now at least five to six months maybe more than that I still have quite a bit in there I don't know if you can see it you probably can't but it feels pretty heavy at least half the bottle is still there um, it's a pump so honestly you need like a tiny tiny amount and this is like a cream for your eyes like it helps with darkness dark circles puffiness wrinkles like and everything I don't know they told me it's for your eyes and it does everything for your eyes and that's what I've been using so I think it's working <laughs> I don't have any problems with it so honestly you only need like this much for both your eyes and I use it like night every night for sure and if I have time in the morning I'll put it on in the morning otherwise definitely at night so that is that is the enchanted eye cream so that's one product um, another product I've been using for a very long time is my is. favorite is their skincare routine or their skincare products. Um, I used to use Angels of Bare Skin for a very long time, but I tend to have like darkness like here. I don't know if you can tell, but yeah, and I really needed to lighten that up. So I talked to Lush because I was thinking about trying to get some other treatment thingy from Sephora, and it was like 50 bucks for like a tiny tube, and I didn't know if I really needed it because I don't know. So I went to Lush and I asked them because I really love Lush and they recommended me to tra change my um, cleanser into the Dark Angels and that's what I've been using. This is my second box thingy and um, yeah I really like it. I, I've noticed a difference and a lot of you guys have been complimenting me saying my skin looks like it's glowing or it looks, you know, I don't know. You guys have been complimenting more so I think it's because of this. <laughs> so yeah. Yeah, this is um, supposed to help brighten your skin and, uh, yeah, cleanse and brighten. So, yeah, because I want it to brighten certain areas of my face. So, yeah, I highly recommend this. This is for combination skin, though. So, if you have oily skin or something, I wouldn't recommend this. Um, the Angels on Bare Skin is for all skin types. So, if you want, you can try that one. It's really good. And definitely, I saw, like, a huge difference when I started using this. That's... What made me love Lush so much like I think when I started using Angels on Bare Skin for like after like two three months I noticed like a significant difference especially in like you know um what's it called sunspots and stuff they were disappearing okay another product that I've been using is their solid shampoos actually I only started recently maybe um, a month or two ago a month ago a little over a month so I bought this one. I think I talked about this in my haul. I have, I've only used this one once. I'm just going to use the other one up first. This one here is to give your hair volume. And this is so crazy. Um, I love how it lathers so much. Like, I don't know if I should show you guys. I don't know how it could. Maybe I'll show you guys later. Like, how much you really need to lather this. Like, I just put it in a jar. Like, this doesn't come like that. But this is just an empty container that I had. And yeah, I've been using the red one. This. And I talked about this in one of my hauls not too long ago. So, yeah, that's how thin it is now. So, how I don't know how long it's been, like, oh, two months now. So, yeah, that's how thin it is. But I'm not the only one using this. My husband uses this as well. <laughs> he just uses anything in the shower, honestly. So, anyway, so we're both using this. So, obviously, it's getting used a lot more. So, it's crazy. Like, honestly, you just wet your hair. 
kind of like rub this in your hair like two times and you just lather it. It's so much to lather. It's crazy. So yeah, um, I was going to say something else. Uh, yeah, and then they actually warned me before I bought the product for the solid shampoos that um, your hair might feel kind of weird. Not weird, but like strawish or like stringy or whatever you want to call it. Uh, when you first start to use it because the other shampoos have silicone in it and it's trying to get the silicone out But once just like after like four washes or so the silicone silicone in your hair will I can't oh my god. I can't talk today. will like disappear or whatnot. So yeah now I'm starting to notice like my hair Feeling softer and stuff like that. I can't tell you it's grown anymore or thicker or anything like that I don't think it's been that long for me to tell you that but so far I'm pretty happy with it. But I did have to wait at least like four or five washes before I could feel the difference in my hair. So my cat was knocking at my door. She wanted to come in. This is my new kitten. Her name is Sweetie. Sweetie. She's so adorable. Oh my God, I love her so much. She's like my baby. Like seriously, like she's in my arms all the time. I spoil her so much. Look sweet. She's like looking at all my stuff down there like what is going on? <laughs> Aww. Did you guys hear that? Aww. What is that, sweetie? What is that? Okay, let's get on with the video. Sorry about that. I just had to show okay, you. Okay, so she's in my arms. Another product is this bubble gum. This is actually really good. Honestly, I haven't had it for too long, but honestly, okay, I'm saying honestly a lot, but. You only need a little tiny amount and it actually really exfoliates your lips and makes them nice and smooth. I mean, I think it's just sugar. Um, it's just a lip scrub and I believe it's just sugar and then the girl said you can even lick it off your lips after. But, um, yeah, it smells good. It smells like bubble gum. And that should last me quite a while. It's a huge pot. Let me open it up and show you. See? It smells so good though. Okay, so that was that. What else did I talk about? If you check out my updated, my first updated skin care routine, I do show me demonstrating my cleansers. So you might want to check that out if you're interested in that. Another product is their toner. I have the small size right now. I did have the bigger size, but I just bought the smaller size. Um, really good. It feels so good on your face. It's just a good spritz of for your face. Like when you spray it, it refreshes you, especially in the summertime. Oh my gosh. It's amazing. It's called Breath of Fresh Air, and honestly, that's what it feels like. Uh, I've been using this. Um, I've actually, I actually really like it. At first, I was kind of like, it wasn't like lathering so well, and I, I guess it's because of the silicone that was in my hair before, but I'm actually really liking it now, and it smells really good, and it's called American Cream, and this is a liquid conditioner. And what does it say? It says, dress up your messed up hair <laughs> with a sexy vanilla cocktail whip. Wash hair, apply conditioner, rinse out thoroughly. So yeah, it smells really good. And it's like almost halfway done. So yeah, and I've had this for a couple months, but then again, like my husband uses the same thing, so. <laughs> anyway, so this is the next thing I have. This is their um, body wash. And you just kind of shake it up. It's actually really liquidy. Like, I don't know if you can see this, but like, see how like it runs? It's like a liquid. Um, usually, um, Body washes are kind of like, you know, a thick thingy. I don't know if I can show you this, but see how it's just dripping? Yeah. So it's kind of like tricky to use it a little bit in the shower. I guess like the first time I was just like, what the? <laughs> it was just like dripping everywhere. I'm like, oh my gosh. Um, but yeah, this one actually smells really good. And the smell does la or, um, linger on your body. It smells really good. Um, this one is called the Olive Branch. And it kind of smells kind of unisex, so it's not really too florally for a female. Men can probably wear this too. I don't know. Um, but yeah, it smells really good. And would I repurchase it? Maybe. Probably. Or I would try another different fragrance. But the only thing that kind of throws me off is because it's so liquidy. So it's kind of tricky to put it in your um, fluff ball thingy. Oh my god, I can't think today or talk today. But you know what I mean. Anyway, so that was that. Next is, um, okay, I bought this. Um, I talked about this. It's a powder deodorant. I don't use it for deodorant. I actually use it for the massage bar. This is what the girl recommended me to use it for. And or you can use it as a dry shampoo in your hair. 
I haven't tried it as a deodorant yet. I don't know if I will. But yeah, it's really like light powder. And she said it's good for dark hair if you're trying to use it as a dry shampoo. Um, but it's also, what I've mainly been using it for is for my massage bar, which I think broke in half. <laughs> but this stuff actually works really good. Like, after running sometimes, my legs get so sore. So I've been using this and it's kind of stuck together now. Um, it's snapped in half. But anyway, um, and it smells really, um, cinnamony. Yeah, it smells like cinnamon. So it's really, like... I don't know what it is, but it kind of gives you a soothing feeling, and it just kind of melts in your hand later. Sorry about that, my camera died. Anyway, um, next thing would be Ocean Soul. I talked about this in, my, in the past. Um, it's an exfoliator. It's really good. Um, that's what it looks like inside. I haven't used it that much, actually, um, this time around, but it's a large jar, so it's going to last me quite a while. But I've actually used quite a bit. But yeah, this is actually a really good exfoliant. Really, really good. You feel so fresh after. Um, I don't know. All I can say is give it a shot. I really love it. I really, really actually love Lush products. Um, another product that I actually really love, and I just bought a second pot somewhere. Yes. Uh, it's their R&B. It's a leave-in um, moisture for your hair. Um, it's called Revive. It says Revive and Balance. So that's why it's called R&B. And it's a hair moisture. That's what it looks like and this stuff like I'm almost done this stuff smells amazing this is like the best thing I've ever smelled it smells so good it smells like heaven <laughs> um like if you walk into a lush, lush store that's what it smells like I think I've talked about this or I've told you guys that before but this stuff smells amazing and it works so good so I just bought myself a brand new pot because I'm almost out and I love it so much like I use it so much it smells so amazing I don't know how to describe it. Another product that I tried, and I don't think I got a chance to tell you guys. I wanted to add it in my last haul, but I completely forgot to add it, so I thought I'd talk about it now. It's the King of Mods. It's actually a leave-in gel, so um, but it's all natural, so there's obviously no alcohol or anything like that. It's really creamy, and I actually really like it a lot. It smells kind of citrusy, though. But it smells good. Like I like it, but yeah, I actually really like it, so... So I've actually been using these two together. So I'll put this in, let my hair dry, and then add this if I want. Um, next thing and next couple of things is the love, or what's it called? It's a cuticle butter. It's called lemony butter. Butter, yes. So that's what it looks like. The stuff works amazingly. Like I have bad cuticles, and I always tend to like pick on them but I've only bought this like a few days ago so I've only used a little bit and honestly you need the tiniest amount so this should last me like forever <laughs> so yeah and I don't even know how much it was I think it was like 12 bucks but it's quite a large thing and like come on I love Lush so I had to get it ready and then one more thing or I have one another thing after this the love lettuce I believe I talked about this one as well it is a fresh um, mask they're very fresh, so they last, I think, like two weeks, depending on when you buy it. They told me they usually get their new shipments on Thursdays, so I like to go in on Thursday. I have so much left, and this is expiring in a couple days, so I need to, like, use this up. I just, like, didn't have time at all. So anyway, probably use it tonight. And this stuff, I feel, and I find that it really works. It really brightens up my skin. This is for, um, I think they told me it was for brightening your skin, because that's, it was a polishing on the Apply to clean skin. Yeah, I don't think it says here, but they say this is like they recommend. Anyway, they this recommended one. me this when I told them about my problems and what I was looking for. So I'm looking to brighten certain parts of my face. So that's why I've been using this, and I actually really like it. And I can feel the difference when I use this. Like I can really see a difference. And when I stop using everything, I, to me, I feel like the darkness is coming back. Like certain areas, like. Like, but that's me. Maybe I'm a little paranoid, but that's what I feel. And last but not least is this product. It's called 9 to 5. It is a cleansing lotion. So it's, I don't know, I have like a hair or something on my face. It's like bugging me. But anyway, um, it's a cleansing lotion. And it's supposed to like take off your makeup. And it's gentle enough for your eyes as well. I honestly am not crazy about this product. I don't know. I just feel like, whoops, I <laughs> just like squirt some out. It's kind of thick. Like, I've been using it for some time now. I'm like maybe up to here. Um, it's really like creamy. But like when I put it on my face, 
it obviously doesn't take all my makeup off they say that after using this you don't need to wash your face but I do because even after putting this and rubbing it on my makeup I still feel like I have makeup on my face um I don't know for my eyes I do not like it on my eyes I just feel like I'm just really working my eyes and it's like tugging like for the few times that I've used this this with the like cotton swab like a couple of my eyelashes fell out so I'm just like okay hey, I'm not doing that again um let me like make some makeup marks on my hand this is like long wear let me get some like waterproof this is like Urban Decay 24 7 I'm gonna put that on my hand okay so I put some stuff on my face that are long lasting let me put some lipstick on okay I got pine cone lipstick here so I got lipstick uh Stila's waterproof liner this is this blue one here called electric is um urban decay's 24 7 liner this is Stila's longwear lip cloth lipstick and that is just a kajal liner from Stila. so i'm gonna let this dry because this thing is crazy it will not smudge you have to let it set for five minutes and it will not budge um, i actually have on their liner today like i have eyeshadow on but like see the liner I'm gonna rub on it right now. It is not gonna come off. It's 24 7. It's crazy good. But, anyways, so I'm gonna let this dry, give it a few minutes, and then I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna show you the results. I personally don't really like it on my eyes. I mean, it's okay on my, my face, but I don't think I'd buy this again. I might try some other company. I don't know. And that is pretty much the sum of my Lush products. So I hope that was helpful. I actually do have some bath bombs. I only have these two right now. This one's called Dragon's Egg. This one, I forget what it's called, but I haven't tried them. But this smells so good. This one, apparently, if you drop it in the bathtub, it's supposed to come out like an orangey color with glitter. This one's supposed to turn your water green or something. Haven't tried them yet. Excited to try them. And yeah, I really actually like their bath bombs. And yeah, that is it. I hope you guys found this helpful. And oh wait, gotta do this part. Hang on. I'm not okay, going so yet. I gave it a few minutes to let them dry. Okay, this is like waterproof right here. This one is crazy from Urban Decay. This is a 24-7. This is a pencil liner. It is not budging. Do you see that? Well, maybe a little bit because I probably didn't let it set. But and I was pressing pretty hard. But anyway, we're gonna try this. Put some on. And you're just gonna kinda like blend this in kind of let it dissolve to see how much I have to keep trying to blend it in I've tried better I've like I've had better cleansers that work a lot better see I'm still blending and they're still there Urban Decay's is really good their makeup cleanser remover thingy I forget what it's called but see what I mean it's still there <laughs> So yeah, and I'm gonna take a cotton swab, try to wipe that off. I mean, okay, now it worked. <laughs> Most of it's gone. That's the blue liner right there. It looks like my vein, but it's not. But like, and I'm pressing pretty hard down, and I mean, I have to do that to my face, so I don't really like it. I've tried other cleansers that are out there that I don't have to put so much pressure into rubbing it like crazy. Like, yeah. So I don't think I'd buy this again. But anyway, that was it. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you soon. Bye.